a face mask is now a part of our daily lives. They come in different colors, patterns, but what if we had a smart mask, one that could light up if COVID-19 was tested or detected? And that technology might actually exist. Uh, they're studying it at MIT and Harvard. Nine Health expert Dr. Paul Coley joins us this morning to talk about what these researchers are working on. Good morning, Dr. Coley. This is pretty cool. A light up mask. Can you talk about this new technology? Yes, Natasha, this is super cool. I was really excited when I saw the study. So basically it's a mask that emits a fluorescent signal when it comes into contact with any respiratory droplet that may be infected, whether that's a cough, a sneeze, or even just the breath from an infected person. And the way that it works is there's a teeny tiny sensor that's freeze dried and either embedded into the mask or one that you could actually add to your homemade mask. And, you know, uh, the sensor has a uh, detection material for the virus. And within about one to three hours of contact with an infected droplet, it lights up. Now, this is not a light that we'll be able to see with our eyes. So we need to detect it with something called a fluorometer, which is a relatively inexpensive tool. It's, it's about a dollar. So each of us could actually have a fluorometer in our house and be able to detect when our mask is showing us that we have an infection. It's really incredible. I mean, what are some of the advantages to having such a technology? Well, you can imagine it's sort of like having a test in real time all day, every day when you're wearing the mask. And they found that actually the sensor is extremely sensitive, so it can detect even a small amount of genetic material. The sensor itself is actually stable at room temperature for several months, so you don't have to worry about it going bad or storing it in any special fashion. And then this technology has actually already been validated and published for several other viruses, including SARS, measles, the flu, hepatitis C, and West Nile. So all they really have to do is actually validate it for this particular virus, and it could be available within in a few weeks. Yeah, a lot of smart people in Boston. What I mean, we're talking about masks, but what could be other potential applications with this technology? So, you know, so if you think about it, if you're wearing a mask every time you go out and the mask has a sensor in it that can detect whether or not you may be infected or have been exposed to an infected person, you could really use it every time before you enter a grocery store. So instead of doing those temperature checks, which we know are insensitive tools for assessing for the virus, we could check people's masks before they come into a grocery store, a movie theater, or a hair salon. And similarly, doctors, instead of having to wait for these tests, and we know the rapid tests are not performing as well as they should could actually just check a person's mask to see whether or not they may have been exposed to the virus and they're infected. Yeah, this is very interesting. Well, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for coming on and uh, mm -hmm. talking to us a little bit more about this new research.